Welcome everyone to Devo's Weed Chronicles. I'm that guy, Devo. What's it going, guys? How's it going? What's it going? How's it going? How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Hope everybody's like, you know, super happy and in their groove. I got a new set of headphones. My cats ate the other ones. Yeah. <clears throat> Look what I got. <laughs> Smoke them if you got them. <sighs> I think I'm going to name him Billy Bong Thornton. Junior. Hey guys, if you've never been here before, please, please hit that like button and the subscribe, man, because I need subscribers. And then the bell. We do live panels sometimes. Yeah. Um, for you loyal story followers. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, about a time, okay, you know, I know I told the story about us being removing asbestos. Well, we just didn't just wake up one day and go do it. We had to go to a class for three days, uh, and they kind of a safety class, you know, and they they uh, tested us and you quizzed us and all this. At the end of the third day, you paid so much money, and you took this exam, and you had to make a 72 or above to, to get your license. We, we were with two other people, and uh, this other guy, man, he's like, he's a giant, big dude, man. I mean, huge, uh, six, four, five. Big guy, man, about 400 pounds, you know, big dude. And he was sweating bullets, man. Oh, I got to study. I got to study. We went and we had to stay in this big city, you know, to do our tests. So we were in a motel together, all of us. And uh, the other, them two guys, oh, man, they studied me and my brother. Man, uh, the first night we were there, me and my brother hit, uh, there was like seven strip clubs in this city. And my brother and I hit two the first night we were there because, yeah, it didn't end well. <clears throat> we were in a taxi. Yeah, that's a whole other story. Well, anyway, the second night we were there, and we never did study. Our buddy, our buddy from town, uh, uh, from our hometown, my grummer, he shows up. So we're out. He said, "Man, let's go hit you know this one, this one, this one." I said, "Yeah, man, yeah." So we go to these ones, you know, and uh, we were at one, and uh, we'll call him Big J. Big J liked this big redhead that was in there. I mean, she was tall. And uh, my, little, my little brother, man, he was like a psycho magnet. No matter what strip club we went into, the, the chick in there, no matter what she looked like, she could be gorgeous or she could be dog ugly. If she was psycho, she went, wow, gravitated towards my little brother. It was insane. So there was a couple of chicks talking to him, you know, stripping and dancing and all this. I was in and a, a big judge like this, and she's bending over in front of him, right, doing her, you know, doing casually, doing this like that. And, I didn't, see, I didn't see it, but Big J said, man, I couldn't help myself. I stuck my nose in her, you know, and she said, girl stood up. She said, hey, don't touch me like that. And that bouncer said, hey, don't touch her. He said, man, my hands are right here. My hands are right here. She backed into me. <clears throat> we kept going. We were fixing to leave. We were just about ready to leave. And all of a sudden, you know, uh, I gathered my little brother up and uh, his little friend. And we walk. He he goes, man, watch this. I'm gonna get one more table dance from this old girl. She ain't gonna give you another table. He goes, yeah, lap dance. Yes, you will. She come over there and she said, all right, Mr. Frisky Fingers. All right, well, last call anyway. Boy, she's really doing it, you know. And she was like, you know, really, you know, it was it was funny, but like somebody was taking pictures of her or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like she was really getting into it. Oh, so it was close to the end of the song. She moved forward. When she did, he pulled the chair back him. You know, Hello, folks. That's right. We got escorted out. They took our weed. Man, we had weed on us, and they took it away from us. <sighs> My little brother tried to stab a bouncer because he's seen the, Tefla, the Kevlar. He went, that guy went, hey, come on, man. Sit down. Be good. And he did. I couldn't believe that. That's crazy. Hey, guys, if you like stories like these stories please hit like subscribe um come and check us out in our live panels man tuesdays thursdays and saturdays hey and uh god bless and uh
Until next time, keep smoking.